Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video and a new vlog. I obviously haven't vlogged um, daily as um, I knew I wasn't going to because I'm working from home and I'm working a 9 to 5 so um, to 6 actually. <laughs> So um, it's a little bit hard to kind of have daily content. But today's video is going to be a little bit of a different vlog. Actually, kind of the same, kind of different. Things are changing around here. <laughs> I, um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am moving back to my parents' house. And I'm moving back at the end of this month. So we're December. By December 31st, technically, it's my last day here. I don't want the moving process to be so draining as it was before, but I was like super excited to get this apartment that I um, kind of like forgot about how draining it was and like how tiring it was. But this time, I want it to be as smooth as possible because I'm moving back to my parents' house, which is the house is big, but it's less less personal space. <laughs> so than having an apartment so i'm kind of like psychologically trying to get into it um you're gonna ask why you're gonna think why you're gonna be like what the heck you just moved into this apartment in august so i'm moving back to my parents house and i cannot exactly technically say why <laughs> um, it's a very very personal thing but um that i will be sharing it one day or another on my channel on YouTube. So um, if you want to know where life takes me, you can subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Plans have changed, actually. Something has come up, something that I didn't actually plan on. Um, so that's why I moved into here and I signed a one-year contract for this apartment. Um, but thankfully, the landlord is really, 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 really nice and very like um, understanding and was like, okay, it's fine. Like we can um, terminate the contract even if it's like five months instead of one year. And um, they've been really nice to me and everything. I thought, I was like, I'm giving myself a year. And my um, plan was to rent for a year and then maybe invest. And I think, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But what I can say I learned from this experience is you have to live alone at least at least once in your life, at least for like six months or something, because that's when you learn the most about yourself. That's when you realize so many things about yourself that were just silent because of how much noise is around you. I thought I was not capable of anything of like counting on myself until I moved to Paris alone. Granted, my brother was there and I had my own place but like my dad was like kind of okay with it because my brother was around and I wasn't gonna be alone but I was alone most of the time like I had my friends and everything and that's when I realized damn like I can really count on myself like I don't need anyone that's the point where my life completely shifted mentally as a 28 year old moving into my own apartment again I realized that apartment life is not for me <laughs> Nothing deep. I obviously learned so much about myself that is much deeper than that. But I just realized, damn, like I really don't like apartment life and I really need outdoors. I need the outdoors to be part of my personal space. I need nature to be part of my personal space. I, it's, it's a need at this point. And obviously I'm still gonna have to live in apartments. Like I can't afford to buy a house right now <laughs> with a backyard or whatever. What I mean is definitely I realized that in my future, there has got to be a house like a house, a full on ass house. Like the movement factor in, a, in an apartment is so, so low. And I felt it so much, especially um, with the fact that I don't go to an office anymore. I work from home officially. So I decided to start packing today instead of at the last moment. And also I am taking a Christmas end of year break. Um, and I will obviously going to be using that to move officially. We're just going with the flow. When plans change, we adapt. Okay, let's go. I put all of my summer shoes in here. I put all of the, hi. Um, every, you know, the little things that I don't use, this dome that I <laughs> actually bought for my GoPro way in the beginning of 2020, thinking that I was gonna go on vacation this summer um, and I wanted to take some great pictures underwater because this is, you know, you use it with the GoPro, you know what I mean? And like it makes you, it gives you like half and half pictures like this. This is what I 
wish I had when I went to Bermuda, but it's not possible without this thing, which is why I bought it. Um, but I ended up not going on vacation this year, like a lot of people around the world, so it's okay. This suitcase has all of my summer, not all of my summer clothes, summer PJs, some fitness thing, and swimsuits and stuff. And this is going to be my overnight bag. I have a snack. I have a snacky snack. It's gonna be my overnight bag because I'm spending the night with my parents because my mama is finally home. <laughs> She's been away for what felt like five years, but um, I think it's a month or something. Like a little bit over a month she's been away um and now that she's back so i'm gonna spend like a couple nights over there to spend some more time with her because i missed my mom and yeah so now it's 2 p almost 2 p.m so i'm going to get back to work for people because it's coming out of jim crow coming out of all of that you know you had busing going on and so you had up and bound program which is a pro college Art program for high school students who are first generation living in abject poverty or you know it's 5 p.m and i'm on a chat with viola davis and i'm so freaking excited also do you like my beanie um i bought it like years ago it's from zara but i'm so excited i'm 100 actually 1 million percent um, fangirling. I love her. If you have never watched How to Get Away with Murder, it's on Netflix. Just go ahead and watch it. It's the one of the best drama I've ever seen. The best, the best, the best one. With Dell, they kind of invited her to kind of talk about diversity and um, inclusivity in a workplace or like inclusivity in general because she's in Hollywood and Hollywood is not that inclusive. So, I mean, they're working on it. But um, so, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna have a little moment, a little fangirl moment. I wore my sweats um, and also, sorry if the camera makes any noise. And also I added this big ass um, suitcase that I filled with everything else that I don't need because my dad is going to pick me up and I'm going home and I'm bringing as many things as I can because I want this move to be very, very smooth. So I'm half ready, um, waiting for my dad and I'm going to fangirl <laughs> as we go. after lunch and I just wanted to kind of check in it's Friday finally I've never been that person who always always waits for the weekend but lately I've been waiting for the weekend um, nothing wrong with like my job or anything but I definitely feel like on the weekend I get to um, especially doing YouTube and like content creating and stuff I get to content create a lot on the weekend rather than during the week days especially now that it's winter and it gets dark really early I don't get to do much um, during my work day it's Saturday and I am ready. I got my, I took my coffee, had a great morning, and now I'm going to get together with some friends. Um, I'm also not, <laughs> Cheek's ear is here, so I'm going to get my bag really quickly and head out. All right, so um, I'm with the homie, Keeks. She came to get me so that we can get go to a friend's place. And what I wanted to say, it's because I didn't expect her to be there. I know it's not like a long-term thing for me to um, move back to my parents' house, but I have to right now because it's a choice I don't have to. But um, I just thought that it would be better for me and my kind of my future projects. So yeah, we're just here. Um, she went to get some flowers. We're gonna go. I'm not gonna vlog obviously at my friend's place because I don't think everybody is um, comfortable with social media as I am because look at me putting my life on social media. I wanna end the vlog here. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.